Hello universe, it is I, Spaceboot1, with you once again, and oh yeah, I'm Steve. I'm actually, I'm uh, recording this video from the development environment in my uh, game, so that's why I don't have my regular skin on. Um, or any regular skin, I don't always use the same skin. But anyways, um, what I wanted to do in this episode was do a very quick little uh, demonstration of um, what I've been up to coding-wise. <coughs> Hey, isn't he so cute? He's a weasel. <laughs> um, so I made a bunch of these. Uh, these are... These are weasels. <laughs> and that's my voice that they have. And they, they can make little babies, too. Uh, you can feed them... Um, oh, I forget. I think it's fish, but it might be chicken. Uh, let's find some food. Let's see what happens. Um, oh, not sword. Okay, they don't like fish. Uh, let's see if they like chicken. Yes, they do like chicken. Okay, yeah, they eat chicken. Um, oh, that reminds me, they also... Um, we need a cow. Here we go. Watch what happens. <laughs> they eat cows. Um, I was going to have them chase chickens, but then cats already chase chickens. I thought he would be already dead by now, but I think the babies might actually not do any damage. So they just hit him. <laughs> yum yum. I know it's a little inconsistent that they eat chicken and yet attack cows, so that's something to work on. But anyways, it's... That's the way it is for now. Look, it's like a whole pack of weasels attacking the cow. So weasels spawn um, currently on rivers. Uh, I wanted them to be kind of a universal mod cause if, uh, mob because they kind of they spawn almost anywhere in the world. Um, so uh, so that's how they currently work is they spawn on rivers. That way they can appear next to just about any biome, but they're not going to overwhelm biomes the way that, you know, you, you're you always going to find sheep and pigs and cows. Uh, so I think that's a good solution. And also, like, rivers, um, they don't spawn, like, in the water. They just spawn on the river bank, so they're not going to be super common. Alright, so if you kill one of these guys... Aha! Uh -huh, take that. Oh, two shots. Okay. Oh, look at that. He dropped some fur. Um, there's not a lot you can do with these furs. You can sort, you can display them. Um, and if you have, um, uh, where is it? Materials. Let's get a whole bunch. If you get a whole bunch of fur, um, you can make fur blocks. And uh, I've named each of the fur blocks sort of the traditional names. Um, there are five of these. And uh, this is the texture I have so far. I think I'm happy with it. I sort of had to compromise. I didn't want a very straight, direct black and white, so I added a, a bunch of gray speckles in there. And then sort of the reverse on this one. So this is called um, ermine. This is called ermines. This is with an S. This is called Pan, I think. Let's, can we do a middle click? Erminwa. This is Pan. Yeah. So Erminwa, Pan, and this is um, actually squirrel fur. But I've just I've designed these guys so they drop this. So there's basically five kinds of fur that they they can drop. Dirt. Dirt. Yeah. What did you drop? Oh. Did you drop that? Oh, that's a... That, oh, that's cow leather. They killed that cow, finally. Hello, yes. Derp. Um, they're not tameable, uh, but they are breedable, as you saw, so you could, theoretically, you could do a fur farm. Um, <laughs> I know maybe that's not, uh, I don't know if PETA would approve, but hey, it's, they're electronic animals, they're not real. So... I don't know. If you can play your game however you like. If you don't want to actually make fur out of them, you don't have to. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you you can make these blocks, and then you can sort of you can build walls with them. You can decorate. 
your castle, like, you know how medieval castles will have, like, tapestries and stuff, and then they'll make coats of arms? Well, a lot of times coats of arms, um, like in the real world, will include things like furs as part of it. And uh, now you can sort of recreate those in Minecraft di almost directly. Um, you could do like a field, and then you could have, um, let's use, I don't know, wool. And you could have a design like out front or something like that. You could have a picture of something, maybe a creeper. I don't, that's not a good creeper. How do you do a creeper? <laughs> Anyways, um, now I'm just kind of derping around, so... Um, but yeah, you can build something kind of like that with a with a fur background and a interesting design in front, or even a design out of fur. Um, and the other thing that you can do with fur is you can make suits out of all of these. So you can make a fur coat. It doesn't say what color it is. Um, but you can, obviously, you can tell what color it is. And let's put it on, and let's get a nice view of ourself in these fancy duds. Um, again, I sort of compromised with the texture on this. It wasn't 100% um, just very, like, completely black with white tails. Um, but it is kind of a mix. It's it's kind of a almost realistic fur design something that you would actually, if you actually made a fur coat out of these guys, it would look like that. Um, that what It looks like an upside down cross, but what it is is it's a tail uh, with little dots on it, to representing like, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be nails or um, just just more speckles, because it's, it's based off of that very idealized fur design that you see in heraldry. Uh, so yes, we have one of each. Uh, do we have... I think we have access to all of these. Um, I won't... I don't think I need to demonstrate all of these for you. Uh, but yes, as you can see, you can wear all different yeah. kinds of fur. You can be fancy. So that's the weasel, and the, what the weasel comes with. Um, and. One of the reasons for the weasel's existence in the first place um, is that uh, I had always had sort of a dream of doing a Minecraft mod that um, that dealt with uh, like hot and cold and heat and stuff. And I was thinking, you know, all the regular armors are yeah, they're they're okay for um, keeping you warm and stuff. But I was thinking, like, if you wanted the ultimate warm armor, like the ultimate uh, clothing that should actually keep you warm in the uh, in the snow biomes and everything like that, um, I, th I was thinking it really, it ought to be fur, because fur would be the warmest thing you could wear, unless it was like a modern material, like um, whatever they make the modern nylon jackets out of with meta materials in the model. But yeah, if, if it's your fantasy game, your Minecraft, it is, fur is your ultimate warm keeping uh, suit, so you can go in through all the the cold weather areas of Minecraft, um, well protected against the elements. Um, but that that of course is uh, I know there are other mods that have already implemented uh, cold weather, and uh, some of them use leather to uh, as the the warm suit. But some of them um, probably could use like if. This would probably go well with something, with some mod that used, uh, cold weather. <laughs> okay, let's, let's spawn a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Hello. So derpy. Took me a long time to get these like this. I, um, I know they look a little bit Minecrafty, like they... They're kind of stiff, they don't wiggle around too much, like that neck is always in the same position, but that's kind of, I've always thought that Minecraft kind of works like that. And let's spawn a whole bunch of cows. Why are they all surrounding me? Oh, I, I was probably holding chicken, that's why. 
Now let's have a real battle. <laughs> you think they only go after one at a time, right? Yeah, they're all after that guy. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Are they drowning? I think the baby ones might drown in the water. <laughs> Look at the babies. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.